Hello and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. Um, this is just a bit of an update video on the diesel heater I did. Uh, I fitted a diesel heater about a year ago now and I've had so many different questions about it over the last few weeks. I thought I'd just do a bit of an update, how it's running, if I've changed things, um, and there's been a few questions about the power supply as well, that it should run off a battery rather than a 240 volt supply. I'll go through the reason why I did that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out where the heater is um, and there's a, a change I did do that I drawed air in from the warm work workshop rather than drawing cold air from outside in the garage all the time. So a little modification I did there and then I'll just go through um, how it's been running, how well it's been heating the workshop and things like that. And then hopefully it can answer a few questions that people have been asking me. So let's go outside and have a look. So here's the heater, still where it was originally. The only thing I have done is I have taken a pipe to take warm air from the workshop through along here into the heater. And the reason being is because it's quite cool in the garage all the time and it was drawing in cold air. So I thought we're heating cold air all the time. With this way, we are heating warm air that's already in the workshop. So hopefully it's gonna be more fuel efficient. Um, still using around about 15 litres every six to seven days uh, of a constant running throughout the winter. I turn it on when it gets cold and I leave it on constantly all the time. Um, the power supply, people say that obviously if it's a power cut, then the, the heater needs to have a, a shutdown to stop it getting overheating and then melting. Um, I totally agree with that, but um, since I fitted this and I've had it running, I haven't had one power supply, uh, power cut, so hopefully it's not gonna cause an issue. But what you can do is you can put a split relay on it if you're that worried about it. So if you get a power supply, have the, have the split relay connected to a 12 volt battery or a car battery. So if you do get a power cut, then it automatically switches over and it will carry on running or do the shutdown sequence, depending on what you want. Um, people ask why I use the 33 amp, as, uh, free 33 amp power supply. The reason I use the 33 amp power supply is because when the glow plug is heating to start the machine, it needs the minimum draw of 20 amps, or I believe it's 20, 25 amps. So I went for a 30 amp power supply, so it's got more than enough ampage to draw when it's heating. When it's running, it's only using a few amps, but it's when it's heating up, it needs the draw to create, to obviously power that um, glow plug. So other than that, heat is still going well. As you can hear, it's ticking over nicely now. And uh, fuel tank's where it is originally. Um, fuel tank's still where it is. So it's working well. Um, it's worked really, really well. Don't wanna look up there, do you? And um, I'm quite happy with it. Fuel line's still running around the base there like it was originally. Coming up there, the only thing I've got against this heater is the noise that that pump makes. It's just constant tick, tick, tick. As you can see, I've now hung it off of uh, the bracket because when it was screwed to the workshop, it was just going straight through the workshop and you were just hearing a constant thumping noise all the time. Right, so let's go inside. So like I say, this is just ticking over and it's the workshop is, as you can see there, whoops, don't wanna be doing that, do we? Um, the workshop there is 14, nearly 15 degrees. Now that's what is normally constantly in here, uh, which is a nice working temperature. So like I say, um, the control is set to minimum, which I think is 1.4 Hertz. Um, you can set it to temperature if you want to set it to temperature, but I normally run it on Hertz and then just turn up and down as and when I need it. So as originally we had the pipe work coming in there, all the way along there, going into that workshop 
and then on this side we have it coming in there to blow into this workshop so i've not changed any of those so they're exactly the same we came in here with our two vents like we had before so other than that i've not moved anything everything's exactly how it was before the only thing i have done is since i moved um, everything about in here um, what i have done is i have put the controller here um, it was on the end of a unit similar sort of position there but i've just moved it to the door liner there and then the, the wiring's fed right over to the heater so like i say in workshop temperature is it's set for 10 degrees or 1.4 hertz and that just constantly ticks to um ticks over to keep it warm in here so what you can do is you can increase that obviously up and down but i keep it on 10 degrees to keep a constant temperature in here um, and it says in here that the actual workshop is 17 degrees now the the heater the control panel is quite low so obviously up higher would perhaps be a bit a little bit warmer but it's saying it's 17 degrees in here which is a nice ample temperature so i hope that answers a few questions for people um the heat is still working great it's still well worth the money for 100 quid i think they're about 100 pound now that's the eight kilowatt one working really really well as you can see nice keeps the workshop nice and warm now my workshop is five meters long by five meters across and then there's another bow at the back that's five meters by 2.4 meters and it's keeping it at a constant temperature all the time yes okay workshop's nice and insulated but it's just keeping that chill off even if you only turn it on when you're actually in the workshop i still think they are more beneficial than an electric heater I was watching a video of someone who bought one uh, a few weeks ago who just did a video and he was working out that they work out around about five pence per kilowatt hour, which is, we all know the price of electric, which is a lot, lot cheaper than what electric is. So I personally think they're well worth the investment, but that's your opinion. So anyway, I hope this helps a few questions or answers a few questions. Hope everybody's enjoyed it. If there's any more comments or questions, then please leave me a comment in below and I will answer what I can. Other than that, take care, speak to you soon and bye for now.